Welcome to the Watchman Channel. This channel is all about world news and Bible prophecy, pointing to the soon return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am asking that if you can, to please help to financially support this ministry. If you feel led to pledge any amount of money, it would be extremely helpful and greatly appreciated. There is a PayPal link in the description box and in my pinned comment below. You can also donate using Cash App. My cash tag is dollar sign watchman 1963 thank you all so much for your prayers and support god bless the world is upside down in the world created by blm soros funded da's and social media agitators heroes are held up as villains and villains they're the new heroes isaiah 520 woe to those who call evil good and good evil who put darkness for light and light for darkness who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Now we saw this play out as the Daniel Penny arrest unfolded. Lord knows how many lives he saved in that subway car that Jordan Neely was threatening. But the squads of racial arsonists set his life on fire after Neely died. Now Alvin Bragg's office is after the two other brave men who jumped in to help Mr. Penny subdue the crazed lunatic. Now we witnessed the same perverse insanity in the open border crisis caused by Joe Biden. The media loves the fraudulent asylum seekers flooding our country, routinely amplifying their wants, their needs, their concerns, and taking everything they say about their cases. It's just, it's gospel. Gotta believe it. So ranchers in Texas, property owners, tired of the trash and all the resources this is consuming, well, they're just heartless nativists. So villainizing Americans who say no more migrants became more difficult, though, this week when minorities in cities like New York and Chicago, they began protesting as well. These families, and in some cases, they're adult males. I don't feel safe having adult males with no health screenings, no criminal background checks around, around our children. And in some cases, they can't come out and play. This is unfair. Now, what are the sensible Democrats telling Biden, look, this is out of control. Shut this down just on merely political concerns at this point. We're the honest journalists demanding accountability and answers about what this is doing to communities that are underserved and already under pressure. And then there's the case of a physician's assistant at Bellevue Hospital in New York. Now she's six months pregnant and had just wrapped up a 12 hour shift. And she decided to hop a city bike, you can rent those, to commute home. Now the bike, by the way, she reserved with her credit card, it was hers. Now, when she tried to undock the bike, a group of young men and teens approached her, one of them slamming the bike back down into its little station. Now, that's when these thugs turned the camera back on. Recorder, recorder, help! Recorder, recorder. Help me! Please help me! This is not your bike. Please help me! This is not your bike. Please help me! Help! Please get off! Help! 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 You're not getting Get off me. Touch your phone. Do not touch your phone. I'm not touching you. You put a disc on my head. You're not crying. You're not crying. I'm stupid. I got something. Where are you? This is my bike. It's on my account. Please move. All right, so why don't we reset the bike? I'm not resetting the bike. It's his. It's his. It's his. I'm going to pull it out on your account. I'm going to pull it out on your account. I'm going to pull it out on your account. This is my bike. Get the out of here. Stop the baby girl come out with time. How you stop crying? Not a, not a tear came down. The video went viral. It spread like wildflower fire. And white woman berating or getting you know, a fight, needless fight with a group of black men. That was the perfect crystallization of what the radicals want everyone to believe. Of course, that white people hate that black people. Just she's another Karen. That's what the mob was crying. Well, the video quickly racked up tens of millions of views, and the usual suspects in social media hell began to throw kerosene on the fire, and deep thinker Benjamin Crump even tweeted, a white woman was caught on camera attempting to steal a city bike from a young black man in New York City. She grossly tried to weaponize her tears to paint this man as a threat. This is exactly the type of behavior that has endangered so many black men in the past. Well. Trump just deleted the tweet today. That's good. But the damage has been done. Now, in a predictable fashion, the corporate cowards at Bellevue Hospital, without doing its own investigation of what happened, put her on leave. 
The statement read, the incident in the video is disturbing. And then it went on to suggest that she was somehow profiling these individuals. Here was her attorney earlier with Bill Hemmer. She's received death threats. You know, her family has been, she's in hiding. You know, what's at play is what social media did to this woman who is literally a hero and has done nothing but help people and within one minute um, effectively tries to ruin okay, her life. But, uh, Could this just have been an, an ugly miscommunication? Um, I mean, that, that's all effectively this is. Race has nothing to do with it. If, if the skin colors were the same, we would not be here today. Now his client has produced the receipt showing that, indeed, the bike was hers to use, not theirs. And it sure seems to look like the real villains here are the jerks who harass this woman and everyone else who just piled on. And it's a disgusting commentary on what the far left and their media conspirators have done to our country. I don't think these are isolated incidents, by the way. That's what everyone's saying. Because millions of Americans who are hardworking, they're good people, they're beginning to feel like they have a target on their back simply because they don't fit the current liberal ideal. Now, this woman feels like her life is just over. So shame on everyone who helped ignite this firestorm. Shame on Bellevue for treating a diligent employee, a health care worker. We're supposed to celebrate them, aren't we? To treat them this way? This has all got to stop, or America is going to head down a very dangerous road and perhaps one we will not be able to turn back on. Don't let the media divide us, brothers and sisters. The first thing we need to understand is that there is only one race, the human race. Caucasians, Africans, Asians, Indians, Arabs, and Jews are not different races. We are different ethnicities of the human race. All human beings have the same physical characteristics with minor variations. All human beings are equally created in the image and likeness of God as we read in Genesis 1, and 27. Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God loved the world so much that he sent Jesus to lay down his life for us, as we read in John 3.16. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The world obviously includes all ethnic groups. Jesus commands us to love one another as he loves us. John 13.34 A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. Jesus declares this in Matthew 25, 40. Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. If we treat a person with contempt, we are mistreating a person created in God's image. We are hurting somebody whom God loves and for whom Jesus died. Brothers and sisters, racism has been a plague on humanity for thousands of years, and this should not be. When Jesus returns, Galatians 3:28 will be completely realized. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. The signs of Jesus' soon return are so strong now, and the evidence is so clear that any person willing to accept the truth can see that the end of the world as we know it is near. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But God demonstrates his own love toward us, in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. These are the ABCs of salvation. A. Admit that you're a sinner. B. Believe in your heart that Jesus Christ died for your sins was buried, and God raised him from the dead. C. Call upon the name of the Lord, and you will be saved. Jesus paid the price for mankind's sin. He has provided a way to spend eternity with him and the Father. All you have to do is believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved. God has already done all the work. All you must do is receive, in faith, the salvation God offers. Fully trust in Jesus alone as the payment for your sins. Believe in him 
and you will not perish. God is offering you salvation as a gift. All you have to do is accept it. Jesus is the only way of salvation. That being said, we must repent of our sins. While repentance is not a work that earns salvation, repentance unto salvation does result in works. It is impossible to truly and fully change your mind without that causing a change in action. In the Bible, repentance results in a change in behavior. Repentance, properly defined, is necessary for salvation. One day, Jesus is coming. You may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Time is short. Call upon the name of Jesus today.